When you have a lot of images in a Lightroom catalog, sometimes it might be hard to find a particular image if you are a lazy keyworder like I am. Keyworder, is that a word? But there is a solution, Exire Search 2022, which is an upgrade from the previous version of Exire Search. And I will tell you how Exire Search, Search works and what are the new features in this 2022 edition. Hi, it's Peter here. And before I start, I need to say the disclaimer. I got the registration key for this software, so it was sent to me. I did not pay for the software. And Exire Search did not ask me to do this video, nor did they tell me what to say on this video, obviously. So everything I say is based on my usage of Exire, uh, Exire Search 2022 and the previous version, which I have been using since last March after I found out about this new tool. Or it's not that new, but new for me anyways. And like I said, it's been a really, really good tool for me because I am a very lazy writing keywords to my Lightroom images. So now I don't need to do that because Exire Search does it for me. What is Exire Search? Well, it is a Lightroom plugin that initializes your catalog and makes the catalog searchable. It, you, can you can search it with keywords, similar images, colors and whatnot. There is a video about the previous version that there are, where there are more information about how it actually works. This video is concentrating more on the new features that Exire Search has. But let's go quickly the basic of the plugin. Of course, you need to install it. And then when you open Lightroom, it will initialize your catalog, which can take a few hours or even more than that. It depends on the size of your catalog. And if you want to learn more about how it actually works, you can watch that video. It's my video from last March when I made the first video about the software. But let's get into the improved features. The biggest thing is the duplicate finder. This was introduced in Exire Photo, which is the similar software, but a standalone version of this. And what it does, it will find you duplicate images. And of course, you can uh, tweak the options. But it is a very handy tool if you want to clean up your catalog to see if you have a lot of, lot of duplicates in your hard drives because it takes a lot of space if you have a lot of duplicates of raw files. Another new features are keyword search tool now has and or not combination. So there are a lot more options to find your images. You can exclude certain things, certain keywords, or you can add them or you can have either or whatever. But it makes it a lot more precise when you're searching for your images because of course this is not perfect. And three, optimized keyword transfer. Keywords can be transferred to, to your Lightroom catalog so that if you transfer the keywords that uh, Exire Search has generated, then you can transfer them to Lightroom catalog if you want. Not really sure if that's necessary, but it might be a good idea to have the keywords also in the images or the in the image data so that you can find them also in Lightroom if you don't want to use Exire all the time. I haven't done that very much. I've relied on Exire. It works perfectly for me. So I have not transferred my keywords to the Lightroom catalog. I haven't found it to be useful for me, but it couldn't be if you want to use Lightroom search after you have used Exire search keywords transfer. That might work for you. And then there is a quick initialization mode. To be honest, I'm not really sure what it is, but what it says that it makes the initialization quicker, which is also a good thing. And the fifth improvement is faster search in big catalogs. I have not tested it against the old version, so I'm not really sure how much faster it is, but it's always a good thing if they make things faster because it makes your workflow more smooth if, if everything works faster. It's of course, it's a better thing. But to be honest, I don't know how much faster it is. It seems to be a bit smoother and faster. But like I said, I'm not sure how much faster it, ac it actually is. And then the sixth improvement is bug fixes. There have been some bugs, but now they've fixed. And to be honest, there is no list what bugs have been fixed. But this is also good news that they are improving the software all the time. And like I said, Exire Search 2022 is a plugin for Lightroom, but there is also a standalone version of this software called Exire Photo 2022. It works similarly and there's a video about that if you want to watch that. That's a very handy tool if you don't have Lightroom. And what about the price? The price of the software is 99 euros slash dollars. 
And if you already have the previous version, the upgrade is 29 euros slash dollars. So not a bad price for a very, very handy software. And like I said, I've been using it all the time. The, the main reason I use it is, is, of course, I don't have the keywords in Lightroom. It's not the thing that I do very often. And then I need to find videos for my um, videos. And also sometimes clients ask me if I have a picture of this or that. And Exire Search has made that search or finding those images a lot, lot smoother and faster. So it has been very useful software for me. And I think you should try it. And I do have affiliate links to both search and photo. So if you want to try it, use those links and you will support my channel. But of course, you won't pay any extra. And here again are those videos that I mentioned on this video about Exire Search and Exire Photo. You might want to watch those next if you're interested in getting to know more about Exire Search and Exire Photo. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.